to create a self-paced assessment, you would go to Insert and then Self-Paced Question Set. I have already created some questions, so I'm going to edit Question on Current Page, and you can see some of the questions I've already typed in. When you want to create one, you would select Insert, choose the type of question you would like, you can select more than one if you would like to do more than one of the same type of question and then hit next type in your question you could allow the answer don't know on a yes no question and then hit next you could assign a correct answer and of course I'm going to say yes to this one and then hit finish once you've put all of your questions in for all the different types of questions, you can reorder them around by selecting which one you want and moving it up or moving it down. Select Next once you've created all these. And here's the important step. So do a double click where it says Correct Answers and then increase it to the maximum number allowed possible. And then you will see all of the questions appear. Uh, if you don't change the number of correct answers, it will only play one question at a time. Select Next, give it a title if you would like, give it a duration of how long the exam will last. Select Next, and then you can pick a page content if you want to have a background. I'm just going to go ahead and hit Finish. And now it gives you a little label here. You can always delete these or change it later. But as soon as you turn on the expressions and each student has one in their hand, Select the green button to play and you can see all the different students responding. And I can have the different responses sent in from students. Okay, so I'm responding some of these. If it has um, just a green box, it means the answer is probably correct or it's an opinion. If it has a red X, it shows that the answer is not correct. And if you'll notice, at any point in time, I can go to the top right corner and select the image of the bar graph. And that will show me who is answering what, as well as the timing. Now I would leave this not for students to watch, but you can hit freeze image on, the comp on your projector and the teacher can then go back to their computer and actually view who's answering what as the test is being taken. At this current time, there is no way to export the results for the self-paced test. This could be updated in the near future, um, but you can only view the summary of each question as it's answered and you can look at different ways of, of going through it and you can even identify correct answers in the middle of the session if you wish.